um, and Jennifer sent, she's actually over in the States, and Jennifer sent that how to stay positive and motivated during your job search. What would you say for that, Nadine? Mm, I think, especially when it's academia, it, it can be really tough, and obviously in other sectors at the moment it's really tough as well. I think the important thing is to remind you what you actually want to do and why, and how much time you have just spent preparing for that. And I think also what I tend to tell people is learn to value yourself during your PhD. It's very, very easy that people just think you're just indulging, you're just writing for three, four years, and you're doing nothing of value. Yeah. And what we don't do enough, I think, especially in academia, is actually remind people that their work is valuable, they are valuable beyond what they do. And you need to have that during your PhD because otherwise it just gets tougher to value yourself yeah. once you're out there looking for a job. Yeah. And I think that's really important. Just to add to what you said earlier about covering letters and, you know, it's not just about you. Um, it's also always about the other side, especially in academia, you know, when you do write a covering letter there, you're going to have to talk about the institution, the department, the people who already work there. Yeah. Why do you want to work with them? Why are you a good fit? Um, and that, I think, also reminds you that it, it is about you and, and how you fit into that picture. And sometimes it's really difficult to keep that in mind in academia, but um, the right job is probably the one you get because it has to be a department where you fit in as a person, as a researcher, with your field and what you work on. So, um, you know, keep that in mind when you're looking and remember how many people are out there. It's not because you're rubbish, which is often the first kind of conclusion we tend to draw when we Always. get another rejection. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah. that's really you, not the reason. I love that. I love, and I love what you said about you know, remembering the value in yourself. I really love that. And I think that one a quick thing that I always teach people to do is something that I actually do personally myself um, because obviously I work up by myself and, you know, keeping, keeping yourself that self-esteem all the time, you know, especially when you're on your own all, all the time. Surround yourself with lighters. And lighters are people that make you feel incredible, people that make you feel like you can take over the world um, and, it, and everything will be fine. Um, and even, I know that you can get quite, I know that you can get quite sort of, um, it's quite an introvert thing to do when, you, you know, when you're doing a PhD and I think it's really important that you spend time with people regularly that do make you feel good about yourself. What do you think, Claire? Um, absolutely, I think um, some of the time in academia, well, well, I, I don't have a PhD. <laughs> when I start to work with PhDs, I, I thought they would be a super confident group of people um, and I would be almost sort of pulling them down a little bit. But actually, it's, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's the other way around. And much, much of my job is boosting their confidence. So the more that they're around people who do say, yes, you're good at this, and they say that to themselves. And that's, that's one of the benefits of Chris's sort of skills exercise and so on is, you know, just actually looking at what you have achieved each yeah. day, what you do, yeah. Yeah. and saying, yeah, I did that well. Yeah.